Então, gaste água sem muito cuir. Gaste água, mamãe, aqui é de mel. Papai, aqui é de nani. Vou na Xangambo, na Mount Kenya, hoje a semana na 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 gaste água. Se o Julius é mora na Mount Kenya, hoje a semana na gaste água. Mount Kenya, onde está cuba de coeli. O que já não há, o atual é o que aqui o deputado presidente. Mount Kenya ganha, o melhor Mount Kenya é que na nani. This man is not qualified to be a DP. This man is not a leader. This man is a thief, and he is a robber, an armed robber. A mei bambaka mosquito net, zawa toto. A mei bambaka mosquito net, ya nini? Ya kina mama, wako na mimba. A me kosana na kila mutu, na kama ushikani shangi network, shauri yako, because two months ago, ama one month ago, uliona Mount Kenya elders, walikuja wakasema sasa, sportsman wao politically, ni kindiki sio gashagua ujue gashagua amekwa nje eh hawa na gashagua ameenda nasikia ati gashagua must go gashagua has gone gashagua is gone gashagua is no he is the former deputy president of kenya gashagua ni raia kidogo kidogo utapata na yeye hapo moyo avenue na koti yake kubwa mtu kama raila odinga for example Yo ni mtu mwenye amekoma kisiasa. Hata <coughs> kama kuna maadui, tuseme kuna maadui Mount Kenya. Summarize. Na kuna mkutano Mount Kenya. Summarize. Na hiyo mkutano agenda ni kwamba tunataka kwa kwa assassinate Raila Odinga. Na kwa hiyo mkutano kuna uh, Moses Kuria, kuna Sabina Chege, kuna kina Maina Njenga sababu wao ni watu wa Mount Kenya. Watasema no. Kama imefika hapo hapana because Raila Odinga sasa ni Moses Kuria anaongea. Gashagua Kenya alifanya ni alipitia shortcut. Ndio maana sasa hizi anaimpitiwa anapelekwa kuchinjwa kichinjio. Hakuna mtu anasimama na yeye. Na mimi niliwaambia hapa na kumbuka nikwambia vizuri Gashagua simkikui. Mukaona kama ni mchezo. Gashagua sio mkikui. Gashagua mama yake ni mweli. Baba yake ni mnani. Wao na shanga mbona Mount Kenya hujasimama na 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 Kashagwa? Sijiulize mbona Mount Kenya hujasimama na Kashagwa? Mount Kenya wanaweza kubali kweli. Ukijana wao atolewe kwa kitu deputy president. Mount Kenya gani? Amjui Mount Kenya ni kina nani? Jiulize mbona wamenyamaza. Hao maimpi wote Mount Kenya wana Africa 87. Kashagwa amebaki na wangapi? Sababu wanajua. Gashagua alipata tu bahati out of confusion. Ile confusion ilikuwa pale Ruto akitafuta rani ni mechi. Hapo ndo Gashagua alipenya nayo. Alafu alikuwa na pesa. Kura ilipigwa, maimpi walipiga kura. Kati ya kati ya Kindiki na Gashagua nani nani akuwe DP? Gashagua alipata kura tatu. Kindiki alipata 23 votes. Lakini sababu Gashagua izabuli na Kindiki Kindiki akona sauti ndogo Gashagwa akakuja akabuli nani Kindiki na Gashagwa alikuwa na pesa akamwambia Kindiki wewe una pesa Hiyo ndio kitu ilifanyika but uh, sasa ndio safari endelee mbele ndio gari endelee tukakubali ama wakakubali ndio mpangilio lakini sasa two years later ma one year later watu na regret this man is not qualified to be a DP This man is not a leader. This man is a thief. And he is a robber, an armed robber. Ameiba mpaka mosquito net za watoto. Ameiba mpaka mosquito net ya nini? Ya kina mama, wako na mimba. Amekosana na kila mtu. Amekosana na kina mama akiwaita malaya. Eh hawa. Amekosana na vijana wa Mount Kenya new leaders akiwaita vijana wadogo nyinyi ni mnafahamu ni heshima amekosana na kila mtu amekosana na wakalenjin kalenjin mpiz ama wadharau amekosana na ruto jamaa amekosana mpaka na mpaka na uhuru kenyata jamaa amekosana mpaka na raila ana dharau raila election imeisha badala wewe ume, umeshinda wewe umeshashinda chukua kiti fanya kazi lakini bado utoi jini ya Raila kwa mdomo yako. Unatembea kila mahali unadharau Raila. Sasa hizi Raila ndiye angekusaidia. 
because Raila yeye akona akona rao ya utu na ile miaka yenye Raila ako nayo sasa hizi ukimwambia kitu anakubali tu anakupea tu kwa hivyo sasa hizi Kenya ungefanya ni kupiga tu Raila simu na kumwambia baba hawa watu wananimaliza na wewe ni rafiki yangu na wewe ni rafiki ya, ya, ya mlima fanya kitu baba angekusikia au maimbizo DM wote wange, wange vote no but because uliamua kwamba wewe you are you are self sufficient umejipata peke yako sasa wa kikuyu Mount Kenya sasa ndio utachagua kijana wao wa Mount Kenya waweke pale so this onslaught was not an onslaught by ODM or even Rift Valley this was an onslaught by the Mount Kenya fraternity itself na kama ushikanishangi network shauri yako because two months ago ama one month ago uliona Mount Kenya elders walikuja wakasema sasa uh, sportsman wao politically ni kindiki sio kashagua na kashagua ndio alikuwa DP so it, it was at that moment kama wewe ni mtu wa kushikanisha ujue kashagua amewekwa nje eh hawa na kashagua ameenda Nasikia tukio kashago must go kashago has gone kashago is gone kashago is no he is the former deputy president of Kenya kashago ni raia kidogo kidogo utapata na yeye hapo Moi Avenue na koti yake kubwa hata ule fundi mwenye aliandikiwa aliandikiwa fundi Taylor hata nyanganywa saa hii saa hii kashago ana security <laughs> Kashagua kazi yake ya mwisho kama DP ilikuwa jana. Ana ana security sasa hii. Sasa hii kashagua ile nyumba yake ya kale ni ya DP. Ni vacant. Kashagua ameenda nyumbani. Yeye ni former deputy president. Na watu wajifunze siasa. Kashagua ajifunze siasa, aenda nje kidogo ajifunze siasa. Siasa ni kutembea na watu, huwezi kwa unadharau watu, alafu unataka wewe uko mwanasiasa. Na tena watu pia wajifunze step by step, usitake tu ku nini ku, ku, kujiweka position ya juu. Kama unaruka stage zingine, usiruke stage zingine. Kubali kama mtoto kubali kutambaa, kubali kutembea vibaya, kubali kuanguka kubali kukula mchanga hey, Kuku, kubali hey, hey. kukuwa adolescent sasa kashagua yeye ni dio kidogo kidogo mp one term alafu ati sasa kuna mahali kwa meza kuna poti tunatafuta deputy kashagua ungekataa hiyo position kitu kwanza ungekataa hiyo position ungekataa kwa sababu hata ukiwekwa eh, nini dp aungekaa hapo kwa sababu siasa siasa inataka ukuwe na very strong pillars around you. Siasa unataka ukuwe na allies who are very strong politically. So that hata ukilichukua hapa mimi uniambie nienda ni kwa deputy president I should be afraid because ama hata nienda ni kwa president at sababu pengine vijana wako na kura mingi. I should be afraid I should say no kwa sababu ninafaa kuangalia background yangu na safari yangu am i strong enough to be in that position to sustain it kufika mahali sio shida ku maintain your position ndio shida ku maintain position ya juu ndio shida kufika ni rahisi unaweza fika hata na bahati sasa ukishafika pa high position na una political capital you face three threats one kama ni rais you can be assassinated Two, you can be you can be thrown out through a coup that was two three you can be impeached kwa sababu wewe una political capital you don't have strong men around you mtu kama Raila Odinga for example yeye ni mtu mwenye makoma kisiasa hata kama kuna maadui tuseme kuna maadui Mount Kenya na kuna mkutano Mount Kenya na hiyo mkutano agenda ni kwamba tunataka kwa kwa assassinate Raila Odinga na kwa hiyo mkutano kuna uh, Moses Kuria kuna Sabina Chege 
kuna kina maina njenga sababu wao ni watu wa Mount Kenya. Watasema no. Kama imefika hapo hapana because Raila Odinga sasa wao ni Moses Kuria anaongea. Kuna Raila Odinga nakumbuka alinilipia school fees. Sabina Chege pia atakuja atasema hapana huyu Raila Odinga alinisupport hivi. Huyu mwingine huyu government spokesman huyu. Huyu mweupe. Pia yeye alinilipia school fees. Lakini nyanyo. So hiyo ndio kukuwa na allies political allies along the way you build friends pote nafasi you build friends along the journey you build allies yenye utasema nitakuwa sawa mwenye sasa akiwekwa wewe ukishaekwa pale kwa nini kama rais uko na akina faruk wanakuzunguka uko na akina murko men wanakuzunguka ni wazito kwa hivyo watu waache shortcut. Gashagua Kenya alifanya ni alipitia shortcut. Ndio maana sasa hizi anaimpitiwa anapelekwa kuchinjwa kichinjio, hakuna mtu anasimama na yeye. Akina Kimani Chungu wenye tuna expect wasimame na yeye au amtambui. Sababu yeye ni nani? He is no one. Kwa hivyo vijana. Wana siasa vijana. Mujifunze kwa Gashagua kijana ambaye hakuwa na uvumilivu na alikuwa na kiherehere sana na alikuwa kimbele mbele na alikuwa na madharau akapatiwa kiti akapatiwa kiti kubwa sana lakini hata kumaliza miaka mbili akabwakwa so vijana be patient along your journey thank you